Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, we are going to check out the sanding grinding guide attachment from Dremel model A576. Uh, I have my Dremel 4000 here and we are going to use the sanding drum mandrel with a sanding band there. So um, we're gonna check this out. We are gonna show how to use it. We're gonna see how well it works, all that good stuff. So uh, first though, let's go ahead and get a closer look at the sanding grinding guide attachment. All right, guys, here the attachment is up close, and this is a cool looking little attachment. Um, you got your 45 degree angle bevel there, and then your 90 degree angle uh, right there. So if you're working with it like this, 90 degrees, or if you're working with it like this, 45 degrees, uh, pretty cool. Um, it's got this depth adjustment here, and you know, this goes anywhere from uh, zero to three quarter inch or uh, 20 millimeters. Um, and then it also too, depending on where the bevel ends up at on the Dremel, um, you can reverse this um, 180 degrees, uh, which is nice too. So you can reposition uh, the bevel. So um, yeah, a cool looking little attachment so far. So uh, what I want to show you next is how to hook up the bit uh, we're going to use and the attachment to the Dremel. And then we will talk safety and then we'll move on to testing this thing out. So uh, let me go ahead and show you guys how the bit and this attachment uh, hook up to the Dremel. All right, guys, so uh, whenever we install and remove bits in a Dremel, you wanna make sure it's unplugged. If you have a cordless model, make sure to just take the battery out. Um, the reason we do that is because it would be incredibly dangerous if it was to accidentally turn on while you were um, you know, installing or removing a bit. Um, the next thing we wanna do is just twist this piece off right here and then it just pulls right off. Um, then we're gonna install our sanding drum mandrel. And the way that you do that is to hold down the lock button and you loosen this up and you can just put the sanding drum mandrel all the way down in there and then tighten it as much as you can by hand. And then you can come in here with the wrench tool that they give you while still holding down the lock button and just get that all the way tight like so. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is install the attachment and that just goes right over the top of the bit and then just spins into place until it is tight. Um, and like we were talking earlier, if this bevel ends up on uh, the wrong side, you can loosen up the depth adjustment and just take this off and rotate it 180 degrees. And now that bevel is on the other side. So just depending on the positioning uh, you want it in. Um, let's go ahead and lock this back into place for now. And that is what the attachment looks like on the Dremel tool. So uh, let's go ahead and head over to the workbench and talk about safety and the project. And then we will uh, go ahead and put this to use. All right, guys, so before you ever use the Dremel, make sure that you read through the operating and safety instructions and understand them completely. It has everything you need to know on how to use the Dremel both safely and properly. We need to make sure that we're wearing a pair of eye goggles to protect our eyes and a good quality mask or respirator to protect our lungs. Uh, the Dremel can get incredibly loud, so we wanna make sure that uh, we wear a pair of earplugs to protect our ears. Um, if you have long hair, make sure it's pulled back and out of the way. Uh, you don't want it to get tangled up in the Dremel. Um, also, you don't want to have on long sleeves or dangling clothing or jewelry or necklaces. Uh, anything like that that could get tangled up in the Dremel, that would be really dangerous. You also always want to know where your hands are at when you're using the Dremel. You never want your hand in the path of the Dremel in case it slips that would be really dangerous. Both hands should always be on the Dremel. Um, and if, if you notice here, I have my project that we're gonna work on clamped down. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about what we're gonna do here. Um, you know, this is just a scrap piece of MDF and I made a cut here for 
uh, one of my arcade cabinets, I had to cut off a piece of this for a corner that was uh, busted up on the arcade cabinet. And we're just using this to, uh, you know, test out this attachment. But we're just going to come in here uh, with the 90 degree angle and smooth this down a little bit. It's pretty straight, but it's maybe, it's got a little bump right here. So we'll just kind of come in here and smooth that down. And then we'll put a, uh, we'll use the 45 degree angle bevel. And we'll come in here and we'll try to make a nice beveled uh, angle on this edge and see what it comes out like. So let me go ahead and put on my safety equipment and then we'll go ahead and test this out. All right, guys, I'm going to tell you right away, I'm, I'm happy with how the, the attachment and the bit performed. Um, the sanding band is only a half inch, and this is three-quarter inch MDF, so it didn't get it all the way down with it with sanding, but it did smooth out the original uh, imperfections from the, the first cut. So uh, it did what I was hoping it would do. When I did the 45-degree uh, angle sanding here, you can see it's not perfectly uniformed. Um, that's definitely just user error on my part and not having enough experience with the attachment. Uh, but I think over time, you know, you would get the hang of this and would be able to perfect it. Um, you know, the tip would be try it on scrap material first until you get the hang of it and then move on to your project. Also, always let the Dremel do the work. You don't want to force the tool. Um, but I think for a first pass, um, you know, this came out okay. It's not horrible. You know, it's a little deeper here than here. But, you know, overall, it did a, a pretty good job. So um, let's go ahead and do a recap of uh, everything we've looked at so far. All right, guys, well, what do you think? This is a cool little attachment, huh? I can see a lot of different applications for it. Um, and one thing that was cool in reading through the operating and safety instructions is uh, this can be used with the Dremel multi-vice, and I actually have one of those on order. So um, it'll be cool in the future sometime to hopefully, uh, you know, try these two out together and see how they work. Um, and I think the key with something like this is just practice makes perfect. The more you use it, um, you know, the better that you're going to get with it and the, the smoother your projects are going to look. So I hope you guys liked this video um, and enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to link the uh, Dremel accessories playlist at the end of this video. Uh, so if you guys have the time and the interest, please check that out. So thanks again, guys, and hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.